100 CS2 tips and tricks where I show off new meta boosts, tactics, plays, nades, and more from the pros. I watch over 50 matches to gather all these insane tricks for you all, so please smash that like button to support the hard work I put in. If this video reaches 5,000 likes, I will make a 200 CS2 tips and tricks video. Make it happen and let's get into it. Nissan plays on top of the barrel next to this left wall at the start of the round, and you can see he avoids all those monster flashes, which is going to set him up to get that multi-frag. Pain Gaming is going to use 4 players to get this triple boost and the top left corner of spawn at the start of the round where the top player can see over the bridge towards T spawn to spot if any T's cross towards B. The top player does not see any T's crossing towards B which is going to lead to an A stack. You can also boost an opera on top which you are accurate and now it's 2014 all of boost again as you can see towards T spawn outside B and even towards mid. Zaiwu and Sphinx are going to use this boost behind the wall over towards the divider sandwich. Sphinx on top goes back and forth between watching these two positions while Zaiwu is holding the connector walkout. Zaiwu and Sphinx are doing a double connector setup with Zaiwu already scoped in so he doesn't make a noise. Gets boosted at the top of the shelf to hold mid where he gets the frag onto electronic while Sphinx is watching the other side. Flame Z is going to jump on top of this railing to hold short once the Molotov ends to hold this off angle. I've also seen Yukinder hold the same off angle position. Exile is going to jump on top of these chairs to hold the front toilet mid area which he is able to get the frag onto Apex here who is not expecting him. War 2K is going to jump on the fountain and then once he doesn't spot the initial mid push he's going to back up to where he could avoid being spotted from fountain and he holds his off angle for party. Gamer Legion are going to boost behind this wall in order to do this off angle peek inside toilets but be careful if any opera's holding this position they can spot you by seeing that shadow. I showed this boost in the past in my previous videos where you can go ahead and hold this very tight angle to spot short which leads to the frag for Monte. Nikodos has a nade set from top of the stairs with this railing where he is going to Molotov off default as well as throw a nade to try to stop the plant. Two A smokes from one position, top connector, first one is A stairs, and then you can see second one is for bank, both are jump throws. The A stairs smoke misses because the CT body blocks it. When you're retaking A, go ahead and spam the bottom right corner of this wall. You might get lucky because T's often will hold from that position in the after plant. Really cool flash from Heavy God as the T's are splitting onto B, he throws it off the pillar, which is going to blind the players towards short. Your B default player can help you towards mid, so we see Kia's Molotoving off short, then he's going to set up for this flash here, and Gamer Legion are going to come up T stairs to push through that smoke, and they're going to punish the CTs. OG have an aggressive B CT setup where two players are going to rush short, the other two players are going to nade stack short pipe, and also spam the wall here, and you can see how much damage the nades do here. Apex from Long is going to throw a smoke that lands in between the left side of Dice as well as Sign giving cover to cross into back sight. You're going to see Vitaly on their T-Pistol paired up with a stair smoke as well as a truck Molotov. When you're jump spotting from Sign and you have a smoke, when you make contact or execute coming, you can go ahead and smoke off Long and then you can hold this off angle as the T's come up and if there was no T's towards Long, you could push up through the smoke. Another way to play from sign with the smoke is to throw the left side smoke here and then play behind the cover of the smoke after you clear long which we see nerds do and wait to see if any T's pushes through that smoke. This is an interesting way to hold mid so you're going to see glowing here jump off of the bench look through the top of the gap there of the wall to spot party. Fang throws one of the most insane flashes that I've ever seen on overpass from inside connector. He's going to position with that line, aim there, run forward, and jump throw. The flash won't blind his teammates as they enter up short. No way is going to push mid using this smoke that lands top stairs. Then he's going to throw a self pop flash. He's going to jump on top of the bench and Henny breaks only the top of the smoke and no way is going to get a frag. Henny, originally Molotov Playground, sets up to make sure that No Way is safely able to push up and then he throws this nade that only breaks the top of the smoke. Mid round, No Way is going to smoke off Divider and Henny from Top Dice is going to wait to break the smoke to allow the T's to think that it's safely to go ahead and push up which he's going to catch them by surprise. Lato is going to throw the car one way smoke also known as the fear smoke and then you're going to see he sets up for the banana flash. 
while Cold Zera here is going to go for the car peek with the op and he's going to flash before playing anti-flash and then peeking down banana you can see that he took damage because the smoke does not instantly put out the molotov if there's a lineup to put out the molotov instantly then that would be much more suited Nico is going to hide in this very back corner of the sandbags and this off angle is going to allow him to go unnoticed as FaZe Clan don't fully clear this corner. So when you come around this corner you might not expect anybody to be there until you come all the way up here and check like this. For Frozen he's going to come around does not see anybody initially from sandbags and thinks that it's already clear which then Nico punishes his teammate for. Rob shows how to throw the absolute smoke go ahead and position on this part of the tile remain crouch aim as shown then left click throw. The smoke lands on top of the truck giving full cover from sight as well as from big pit. If you want to smoke the hay cart from Mexi go ahead and stand in the back corner use the pipe and go ahead and move your crosshair to the left of that part of the window then jump throughout. I showed Rain using this off angle position in the past but the last time I showed it he was exposed to boiler here he's not and you can see that the T's coming around the corner think that it's clear to throw nades. One play that pros abuse in CS2 is the gap between the Molotov and the smoke there is usually an area where you can go ahead and stand without taking any damage with the CTs might not expect you to be there. MPL is going to come around this corner and he's going to pre-fire and wall bang this wood which I have not yet seen before done. Norbert makes a smart play by jumping on top of the balcony and instead of going towards the right he jumps towards the left window. The CT that is about to peek window is waiting for him to peek towards that left wall however he gets surprised. Hooksy smokes CT from T stairs where he's going position under that part of the wall. He's going to aim at this leap between the pot right there then jump throw and you're going to see that G2 rushes banana with this. These are retake banana nades so Monacy is going to throw that flash and then you're going to pair that CT smoke up from Hooksy with this fast coffin smoke and then you're going to rush banana into B with these smokes. Rops use the very same position inside apartments with the Zeus at Katowice and here we see your kinder is going to do the same leading to this frag. Twist coming out of spawn is going to throw a very fast top banana smoke and this smoke is going to help take banana control as liquid is going to malt off sandbags which is going to block off the B site. This is how team liquid takes mid control on inferno. We've got Kadian from mid who is going to throw a top mid smoke then twist here in the middle of the archway is going to throw a short porch Molotov followed up with a flash. Rob smokes top mid from second mid he stand next to the wall in front of that door aim right there then jump throw. Brokey throws the long smoke from the very back corner of mid he's going to stand aim right there at that part of the roof then jump throw. JT with mid banana nades from CT stand in the middle of that wall you're going to see that the smoke lands next to logs and then the Molotov lands behind half wall. When Valve updated Inferno they messed around with coffins and some of the old smokes don't work so I'm going to show you some new ones. I didn't realize this until Sixie told me about this so shout out to him. Keto smokes coffin from this cubby aim here walk forward jump throw the smoke would have landed on the coffin if the CT didn't body block it. Coffin smoke from car on the right side while standing look for this thing that's sticking out aim at towards the tip of it then go ahead and left and right click jump throw the smoke is going to land at this part of the coffin and then it's going to bloom all the way. With the inferno changes the wood got changed on the car so you're going to have to aim below this mark instead of the arch mark then go ahead and jump throw. The roof gutter lineup still works. This is a really cool banana flash from Grim, who is going to throw it off this wall that bounces and lands behind the wall so when he peeks banana it's not going to blind him. Saw have an early setup for banana where they're going to set up their opera when the CT smoke bottom banana they have a nade to break the smoke and then they also have a flash for banana which is going to set up story to get this easy frag for the CT pushing. Here is the standard flash and the CT coming down gets full white. Kadian goes for the bottom van rail peak he's going to delete Yuri. Yuri coming around this corner is looking for top van. Another off angle peak that you could use for B apps is next to these boxes crouch. The T's when they push out apps are going to be looking out towards window they're not going to clear that position. And then afterwards you can go ahead and deploy your defensive smoke and then go aggro again. Shush is going to throw the Molotov that lands on top balcony as well as covering shadow. You can see that the Molotov is going to force the CT out of this position. He also knows the lineup when Palace is smoked off to throw the same Molotov which is going to cover both positions. Another team that uses this Molotov is Imperial. 
It would be really clutch if someone were to find this Molotov, the one that lands on top and bottom from the back pillar where you would throw the standard one. Gamer Legion is going to use the meta top mid smoke and then they're going to have a core Molotov behind the smoke and he's going to peek in front of the Molotov which could catch any CTs by surprise which the CT might not expect any T to peek behind this smoke like this. Bottom con one way smoke still exists, well sorta, so what you're going to do is you're going to throw the smoke more towards the right by throwing it off the wall and then you're going to be on top of the stairs here where you can see over the smoke as the T's come up from underpass they might not expect the one way to exist. When you're retaking B, you can safely come out door by throwing this smoke and you don't even have to expose yourself from the doorway to throw the smoke. The smoke also blocks off bench allowing your teammates to safely push up short. Kisarato connector smoke, position top right of the platform, aim at that part of the wood, then jump throw. If the T's are executing A and throwing the standard right side A smokes, go ahead and ask for the boost where you can see over the jungle smoke. If you're default and the T's are coming out and you don't have any teammates to flash for you, you can go ahead and throw a self pop flash off the shadow wall and that's going to blind the T's coming out ramp. If you want to make a very aggressive play when the T's throw the top connector smoke, go ahead and push through the smoke whether that be on the left or right side and especially if they throw the Molotov to clear out the cubby, the Molotov is not going to reach towards that smoke, the T is going to think connector is clear because of that Molotov. Scenario with a new way to throw both A smokes from one position, go ahead and position with this line on the T platform, stand up for the stair smoke, aim here, left and right click jump throw, back up into the wall for the jungle smoke, aim here, left click throw. One thing to note is that the jungle smoke does extend out a bit. Juan Flatro is going to Molotov this left corner to push any CTs out of that position, but the Molotov will also give him some space and room to go ahead and come out and peek behind the cover of the Molotov. This match was played before the update where the flames of the Molotov got reduced in height. The most common way to play B is to jump spot from Van and if you know that CTs like to do this, you can have your teammate throw a flash like this, one player pushed up like this, jumps out with the flash and is going to blindsight the Van player and push up on them getting an easy frag. OG are popping B and check out these flashes from Heavy God to allow his teammates to scale into sight and this is going to target the jail player who gets super flashed. Shush is going to smoke off palace, he aims top right of this door where it meets the wall, go ahead and run forward and jump throw. Two things about this clip, first off if you're a CT opera on short peaking mid, your opera does stick out if the T is on the bench, which you can go ahead and wall bang through there. Post plant, if you're able to get yourself into market and jump on top of here, look at the top right of the screen where you can see outside of market to see if the CTs are rotating in this way. Snacks had this lineup where he could throw the deep kitchen smoke as well as the Molotov from this one position using the pin of the smoke, left click throw, then you're going to aim the Molotov here, walk forward and left click throw. Thank you to Normally for a lineup because Snacks missed it. Did you know from the top of stairs you could actually throw a Molotov over the ramp that is going to land on that T platform? Masi is going to get run boosted mid but not for the heaven side, he's going to get run boosted to try to get to elbow fast and go for a quick peek. A lot of pro players that are playing mid are using this long jump here from this ledge to this ledge and they're able to get to heaven faster as well as you see a liege avoiding that Molotov from the box. Nikodas shows us a new op peak on A from behind big box where there's a very tight angle here that he could spot CT. Blame F is going to hold Donut with this really tight angle with that small gap. Once contact's made, he's going to throw the smoke. While this is happening, his teammate is watching A main. War 2K is going to throw a mid Molotov off that right wall, which is going to prevent Blame F from pushing through. Complexity are also throwing this mid Molotov, and we see Elish doing so, and Complexity pair this up with these two smokes. Previously, I showed Exertion making this play, pushing through the deep elbow smoke, and here we see Dumao doing the same thing, hiding behind the Molotov, and I've seen a lot more pros are also abusing this play besides Dumao. Demka smokes mid donut from outside B, stand on the right edge of that flooring, aim as shown, then jump throw. Monte used this smoke to fake mid presence while they're going to execute B. Zakar and his teammate are going to fake B with some nades and then he is going to smoke CT by standing in the back corner, aim as shown, then run forward and jump throw. On the radar you can see that the B nades did draw over rotation from the CTs. When you're pushing out cave and you're worried that the T's are coming out elbow, you can go ahead and throw your own smoke to the right right before you come out which is going to give you full cover. 
If you're holding outside B, you need to use this position where you can hold this very tight angle to spot any CTs pushing down because when the CTs push down, they are forced to check this left cubby which then they expose themselves. There is one way to counter that position if the T's do try to hold that tight angle, you go ahead and use this boost from behind the stairs. This boost will easily clear any T's trying to hold that tight angle. Two weeks ago, I showed Roland using this cave Cheetah Molotov that prevents the CTs from pushing through depending on their spawn. And since then, two teams from the Americas have used it. But I have yet to see an EU team use the Brolin Molotov and you can hear the CTs push through if they decide to by taking a Molotov damage. Pwn alone shows us a new way to Molotov off B long and the Molotov is going to cover both cubbies, the front one and back. Isaac from behind the right door has a B flash entry for his teammates Banana then he's going to follow up with the same lineup for the B long Molotov that covers both ends. Big air coming out cave and they smoke off short and you're going to see Searson followed up with a CT Molotov that is going to hold off the rotations. Nikas has a set lineup for a flash and Molotov for elbow. You can see there once he has the lineup without moving his mouse, he strafes over and he's going to stand behind that left wall. And then he's going to jump throw both. If you go mid to A through window, you can go ahead and jump over like this without being spotted from the CTs that are holding from this back lane. So we see the opera can barely see the feet even though he is able to spot the shadows. A split smoke from Halsic from Yard. Go ahead and crouch and aim at this line then stand up and jump throw. This is a much safer way than rather than going out mid to throw the smoke. JT is going to throw an instant cheetah smoke and by having an instant lineup he does not have to waste time to do the set position and lineup. OG are going to come out fast mid using this instant elbow smoke which is going to put out the CT's Molotov. Very interesting bottom banana nade from Process who is going to have this lineup all the way from the back wall and you saw the lineup and he's going to run forward and jump throw does massive damage. This is the second most common way to throw the pillar Molotov. The most common way is from the door but the pros are starting to throw this Molotov lineup here. QB is going to throw a smokes first off CT, that's a jump throw for the Doden smoke, he's going to aim at this gap, W jump throw, but look what he does afterwards, he's going to follow up with flashes over this wall, which I have yet seen anyone do so. Brokey shows must know B nades, first off is the long smoke, then he is going to smoke off short, afterwards he's going to Molotov off the cubby, and then he's going to throw flashes, and then his teammates are going to entry out cave as well as up banana. Slacks is going to get boosted and then he's going to get smoked off and then you're going to see the M80 boost another player to boost Slacks which then he can see over the smoke to spot long leading to this frag here. When boss played MIBR at the RMRs they spam the CT step stack here inside cave and this won them multiple rounds getting them multiple frags. Playing boost for watching A main is very overpowered because of the shadow that you can spot here but there's a new angle to hold it from the back right corner where you can see very deep and if the T's try to creep out you can spot them. Gamer Legion CT A setup with Volt jiggle peeking A main, A core towards Brokey is going to throw this flash for Volt to aggro inside which blinds both the T's. If you know the CTs like the Jiggle Peak at the entrance of A main, have somebody throw this flash like taps in and then go ahead and entry out and jump onto the CT as they're full blind trying to fall back. Juan Flacho shows us a new set nade lineup for upper ramp where he's standing in the back left corner, he's aiming at that top of the beam, then he's going to walk forward and left click throw. In the pro scene it's very common that you have a teammate throw the top yellow ivy smoke and then you have your teammate push through it but here you're going to see Juan Flacho does it himself and pushes through his own smoke. Chopper makes the same play, he's going to throw the smoke and then he's going to go through his own smoke, gets the first frag, then he makes a 200 IQ, faking the jump back to make it sound like he fell back and the T's buy it. War 2K unlocks a new vertigo op peak where he's going to be close to this wall so he's able to hold ladder as well as the cross from T mid. Make it a habit when you're clearing mid to use this boost, it's too meta, a lot of pro teams are using it, the opera stands no chance because the opera is not looking up top. Dumao with a super fast T mid Molotov that's going to land before the T's can even push out towards mid. This could be meta because look at the timing of the Molotov, CJ had a decent spawn and the Molotov lands before he can get there. This mid flash is way too good to not know on vertigo for the T side. So this flash is going to buy multiple positions and it's going to set your teammates up. 
Barton has this top ramp smoke from the opposite side of spawn, aim here, jump throw, and he throws it at the start of the round, and the smoke is going to give full cover for his teammates to rush up top ramp. Instead of being in front of the sandbag to throw the elevator smoke, you could go ahead and stand behind it and you're going to see Junior follow up with a short flash, the smoke is going to go through the window. This is much better than throwing it from the other side of the sandbag. If you want to secure the post plant on A site, use this off angle on top of the rail where the CTs coming out are too focused on clearing short and won't clear you. Messi from Ramp has this insane vertigo A site nade set where he is going to smoke off A site with one smoke and then he's going to Molotov headshot from the same position. These two nades will allow Vitality to make their way safely into sight and smoke leaves no gaps. George towards Elevator is going to throw the perfect mid flash for Marky for window. All you have to do is throw the flash below window and your window player is not going to get blind. Complexity are going to use the mid sight B boost that involves two players where you have an off angle towards stairs and you can also see over this wall towards mid. After a leash takes stairs control, he's going to smoke to the left of the stairs, stays to the right of the smoke and it makes it look like top stairs is smoked off so the T's might not clear you. Take Ivy Control using this Molotov from Grim from inside ladder. All you have to do is pair it up with a on the fly Molotov with the ramp player throwing it. Snacks shows how to Molotov yellow from inside Ivy. All you have to do is aim at the top left part of that beam, then left click throw. You can see the full spread of it. Two important nades from Snacks. First off, he's going to smoke yellow on the fly here. Comes out with the cover of smoke to area 51. Then he's going to break the T's top ramp smoke by aiming at that part of the bucket. Left click throw. Him and his teammates are going to swing ramp and get the frags here. Nexus from left side of mid has this insane flash for canals where he has that set lineup for the bridge door and he's going to run forward left click throw follow up with a nade and this combo is going to destroy the CT that is pushing through cave that goes through canals and it also will blind any CTs opping holding canals as you can see here same flash is thrown. Searson has this insane Anubis B flash where you can see the lineup here as he stands he's going to aim as shown then jump throw. What's sick about this flash is that it lands on the sledge blinding multiple angles and positions however it won't affect his teammates and you can see here they pair up with the deep cave smoke Donk tries to push out but gets blind and he has to take cover. Here is the POV of the entry fragger and you can see that the flash goes unaffected from his POV. I seen JP have this smoke lineup for A main where you position with this circle on the back wall in sight, stand up, aim at this mark right here where the gap is, then jump throw. The smoke is going to land on this top balcony and it's going to extend down waterfall and covering up A main. Thank you to Digital and PLPC for the lineup. Fang's gonna smoke rug from mid, go ahead and stand next to this wall, aim as shown, then you're going to walk forward and left and right click jump throw. The smoke gives full cover from upper as his teammates push out a main. This is one way to counter the mid temple smoke, if you have a teammate you can go ahead and boost the C over the smoke. When T's throw the right side smoke here at the start of the round, you can go ahead and jump on the brick to C over the smoke. When Imperial played M80 on Anubis, no way used this smoke a lot when he was entering to B as it gives him full cover and with the flashes he's going to be able to entry safely. Matches is on an island and he's going to throw the sun flash and the sun flash is going to land perfectly setting him up for the first frag, swings and gets the second frag, deploys the defensive smoke and defensive molotov which is going to buy him a lot of time for his teammates to rotate in. This is the most insane position on Nuke where you can go ahead and climb up the ladder onto the platform and from here you can jump on top of this yellow rail beam and then go ahead and crawl your way up all the way on the ceiling so you're like Spider-Man here and you can go ahead and position yourself up top here which you are also accurate from up top which we see the T gets the frag into the CT. No CT is ever going to check up there for you. You need to know this nade set at the start of the round for door where you Molotov off door then throw the nade off the top of the hut which bounces and breaks the door lurk smoke. Kiksan is going to Molotov deep door from main and he's actually going to push through into the door behind the cover of the Molotov which the T is not expecting. Instant top main smoke and if this video reaches 5000 likes I'll make a 200 CS2 tips and tricks movie so smash that like button and I'll see you all in the next one.